Hello everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a black spider iron device. I have a size 16 hands BL 454. This one is a dry fly hook so a little lighter wire on this one but you could also use some wet flies hook or some nymph hooks. The thread I'm using is the nano silk from Sample Fly 18-0 in beige. You could also go with black or any dark color that you want won't really show so it doesn't really make any difference which thread you use. So I started just behind the eye, put down a few turns of thread and the first material I'm going to tie in is the rib and this one is some black nylon thread. This one is 0.25 millimeters so I'm going to tie this in just a few millimeters behind the eye. Here you want to leave a little space for them tying this down and also to tie in the hackle. So what I'm doing is I'm tying this on our way down. This is to reduce the bulk and to make for a little slimmer fly. So I'm going to tie this in on my side, bringing it down. And here you can really choose how long you want your fly. Some people like their spiders to be really short so you could stop right here at the point of the hook or you could go just a few millimeters back to where the barb should be or you could go the whole length I like to stop it about where the barb should be on a hook with the barb and for the body I'm going to use a little bit of dubbing in this case some black opossum and here I've just taken a little bit, you don't need much. So I'm going to dub a small body on this fly. You want it quite slim, but with a few strands or fibers or hairs sticking out. I'm just going to add a little bit more on this fly. It's designed to be a wet fly, so it will have kind of a soft hackle leaning backwards. But as Lars O. Gullison says, is old flies fished with a new technique becomes new flies. So this old spider pattern, as it was intended to be a wet fly, could also be fished upstream as a dry. And I remember last year, I had my most remarkable fish on just one of these small black spider patterns. So I was fishing in the north of Sweden and I had I was in this really small stream, it was maybe just one or two meters across. I went down a little bit and then I saw there were some branches hanging out just above the water. So you had this little place where I would think that a nice grayling would be. So I went down a few steps. I put on one of these black spiders. I threw it upstream. I made one cast. It just went by. I then made another one right under the branches that were hanging out. And it was just a little bit deeper right under these branches and up came a nice grayling and took the fly in the second cast. So this was really a great moment in my last year's fishing trip. So thank you Lars Åke for teaching all these great techniques with upstream wet fly fishing. It really gives a lot of fish and I would really suggest you try it because it's really fun and as you fish wet flies in a dry fly style. You could also fish them as a wet fly, so it's a very versatile pattern. So now I've taken up my rib, which is this black nylon thread. You could also use some black wire. So I've taken this up about four or five turns. Then you want to secure it well and come in with your scissors and just cut it off really close. A few turns to tidy up. And at this point I'm going to tie in the soft tackle and here I have a nice little 
cape from Mets and this actually I bought a bigger one and this just came along on the other side so it was a little bonus cape for really small wet flies so here at the bottom I have a lot of small feathers so here I've selected one that's the right size and I'm going to take away all the fluff from the bottom. Once you have your feather prepped you want to tie this in facing forward so I'm going to just tie it down with a few turns right up to the eye and here we can cut off the stem and I'm doing it this way to give a much more durable fly as you will see in just a few seconds so I'll show you just in a bit but now we're going to dub the thorax and for this I'm going to use a little odd material this is some eye swing fiber black and it is this really long fibers it's maybe a little difficult to work with but you get some of these and what I will do is to take just the smallest amount and I'm going to dub this on onto my thread it's actually quite easy to dub on because the longer the fibers the easier it is to dub and now I have this little rope or thingy here and I'm going to bring this back so going from the eye back to the body I'm going to dub a little thorax and now the key is to leave your thread here just behind this little dubbing pole, dubbing thorax and I'm going to grab my hackle pliers usually I like to wind on all hackle with my hands but for this one it's even for me a little too small and here you want to get this started the right way with the natural curve of the feather leaning towards the back and this can sometimes be a little tricky but if you pull all the fibers going the same way you should be able to get the first turn started so here I'm going to do one full turn right behind the eye and then I'm going to go back in this little dubbing thorax to make about two three turns and then once you reach the thread I'm going to come over with the thread and catch the hackle and here you can let go with your pliers and then I'm going to go through the dubbing and the hackle and as we as we went this way with the hackle and as we're going the opposite way with the thread we're counter wrapping this hackle in an effective way and as this thread is so thin you won't even see it and it's really strong so it won't ever come undone and then you come up to the eye and here you want to bring all the fibers back make a few turns so now you have a little neat head then grab your whip finisher and we're going to do a three turn whip finish pull tight and cut off and now we can grab the tip of the hackle and you can just break this off it should be really easy the last thing to do is to grab your dubbing brush or a little velcro and we want to brush just a little bit of this dubbing into the hackle or the other way around but you want these to mix just a little and this dubbing it's not really a dubbing but I'm using it as a dubbing for this it's going to give these little longer fibers and this will really represent 
maybe the legs of an actual spider or a little terrestrial insect that has come onto the water. So there we have this little versatile pattern that can be fished in almost any way you want. So there we have the black spider. Thanks for liking and commenting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time!